Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to add a color swatch to a WooCommerce product. So in my imaginary store, I'm selling t-shirts and those t-shirts come in blue, green, or red. So if I select the swatch color here, we then get the blue variation, which is $10. Or if we go for a green one, it's slightly more expensive at 12 or 14 for the red one. So what we're going to do is we're going to add attributes to a product and then we're going to link a color swatch plugin to those attributes so we can have our little color swatches like these. So these can be used for clothing, I've seen them on furniture, um, all sorts of products with different variations, different colors, benefit from a color swatch, as you can see like that. So the first thing to do is add our color swatch plugin. There's loads of them out there. I'll include a link in the blog post that accompanies this video to show you which one I like the best. Once you've installed your color swatch plugin, if we go to our attributes section, what we can do is add an attribute of color and set the color type to be color. So let's just add another one, color two. It's going to be color swatch, so we'll add that attribute. Then we can add the terms to that attribute. Let's have purple. And then there's a color selector, and you can add purple. Perhaps you want to add black as well. You get the idea so you can go through and add the colors you want so if you've got specific colors for your products you can put the hex color code in perhaps it's like a darker green or something like that british racing green for your mini or something along those lines you can find find the hex color code and drop it in a Good little tip for that is if you take a photo of your products, drop it into Photoshop or one of the image manipulation tools, you can use the color picker tool to find exactly what the hex color code is. So you drop, create attributes, add your colors to them. Then what you do is you create your products. Let's just edit my t-shirt. You make your product variable, then you add the attribute. So let's add a new attribute. Let's add color two. And then we can select our terms. So perhaps this one only comes in purple. We can do that if we wanted to and select only certain colors, but let's go for all those colors. And then we need to add a variation. So I've added three variations, green, blue, and red. And then what we can do is, let me just remove this image. We can add an image per variation. So when we select the color swatch, that's how it shows my blue t-shirt. And then we can also set our prices here. So green's a little bit more expensive. There's my green t-shirt and there's my red t-shirt. So that is how you add a color swatch to your products in WooCommerce. The plugin has a number of settings. So under Get Woo Plugins, we've got the swatches settings. And we can do things like set the swatch border radius. We've got the advanced settings. We can change the action when we click on the uh, swatch button. We can change the size. Perhaps we want massive swatches like that. So we change the border radius. We have some styling options for the tick and the crosses, and that set the width of the swatch size. Perhaps we'll make these. 
say 24. So this is where you change the size of the actual swatch. Like that. Um, we can set some options. Obviously there's some, uh, this is a freemium plugin, so there's some premium options as well. We can show the swatches on the archive. So those are the settings that come with this plugin. If you need help with your WooCommerce store, please get in touch. Go to neilmatthews.com and click on the work with me button. I look forward to working with you.